Once all intervals have been defined in the instruments, you need to maintain the intervals for the fleet. The XDoc Manager is an ideal tool for this. The cockpit provides a clear overview of the registered instruments. The Test and Calibration section gives us an overview of how many instruments are overdue or will need to be tested and calibrated within the next few days. For a more detailed list of the instruments that are overdue, we need to switch to the Device tab. Here we can, for example, sort the instruments by the date of the next calibration and easily identify instruments that are overdue. The great advantage of this procedure is that it is very quick and can be done at any time. However, you may sometimes need to create a report which needs to be printed or forwarded by email. The following procedure is very practical, especially if you need to do this regularly. We switch to the Reports tab and create an interval report. In Interval Schedules, we then select a test and calibration report, the expired calibrations report. Now we can define the interval. For our purposes, we select once. However, for regular reports, you will of course need to select a different interval. In the next step, a pre-warning needs to be defined. This is helpful if the report should also list instruments that will be due soon, as it enables you to plan the maintenance in advance. The next step in the wizard lets you limit the report to specific gas detectors instead of applying it to the entire fleet. Various filters are available for this. We're not going to use any of the filters today and will continue to the next step. In the final step, we are going to define how the report will be created as a PDF that will be saved on the hard disk, as an email, or as a direct printout. The ad hoc report has now been defined and will shortly appear in the archive. We now go to the archive, open our report, and see an extensive list as a lot of instruments in our example database are overdue. There is also another way to create a report on overdue instruments. For that, we have to switch to the Event Schedule section. Here we select the report for overdue calibrations and start the wizard. Here you can also define pre-warnings and filters and select how the report should be created. Event schedules can also be emailed to the assigned user. This means that the user to whom the instrument is assigned will be informed that the instrument needs to be calibrated, either with a pre-warning or directly when the calibration becomes overdue. The user's email address, of course, needs to be stored in the user management table for this. This report will be created for each individual device and only when the calibration becomes overdue. This means that we will not receive a report now, but only when the next gas detector becomes overdue. In this tutorial, we have seen how to define and maintain intervals. By the way, after a successful calibration, both intervals are reset. After a successful test, only the bump test interval is reset. One final tip. If you have not selected the option to issue an error when the interval has expired, you can still lock the instrument using the XDoc Manager. To do so, select the desired instrument on the Device tab, click Edit, select the Deactivate checkbox, and save the changes. The instrument will be locked the next time it is placed into the XDoc. We have now reached the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. We have linked some other tutorials to this one that explain other functions which will help you in your daily work with our XDoc Manager and the XDoc systems.